Welcome back to tonight on Breaking. I'm your host, Johnny Woody. Here are some of the events that happened this week. This week, the presidency announced that the United Arab Emirates had lifted the visa ban placed on Nigerians. But that's not exactly what happened. If you remember, back in October, the UAE imposed a visa ban on Nigeria and 19 other African countries. But mostly Nigerians. Flights between both countries were stopped and about 542 Nigerians were evacuated from the UAE. It was like a bad breakup in the world of international relationships. Now, the UAE had attributed the ban to domestic rules between the two countries. But let's be real, you and I both know the UAE was just done with us. They wanted peace and quiet from Nigerians. In the spirit of reconciliation, President Tinibu and his UAE counterpart, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, and Nayan had a meeting. Right after that meeting, we suddenly got this ground announcement that the UAE has lifted the visa ban. The special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngelali, made this announcement in a statement saying the UAE has lifted the visa ban and that Etihad Airlines and Emirates Airlines are all set to resume their flight into and from Nigeria. But hold on, before you start packing your bags and dusting off your Ecolac for a trip to Dubai, the UAE has a very different version of what happened. According to the UAE's statement, both presidents explored opportunities for further bilateral collaboration in areas that serve both countries. They made no mention of lifting the ban. It's like when a couple breaks up and one of them still insists they are together. Awkward. Anyway, later in the week, our dear Ngalali had to clarify that the two countries are still working on it. He said that both sides need to allow cabinet officials to work out final details and finalize the cross-sectoral agreements. Yeah, sure. I think I'm going to wait to hear that from the UAE. PDP's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, and the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, have both rejected the judgment of the Presidential Election Tribunal Court. Yeah, I know, we are still on that. As you all know, last week, the Presidential Election Tribunal Court dismissed all petitions challenging the results of the February 25th election, which declared Bola Ahmed Tinubu president. But Atiku and Peter Obi are not backing down without a fight. They are taking the petitions to the Supreme Court. Because, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again, I guess. Also on the news this week is the president's supposed classmates from Chicago State University. As you all know, over the past few months, the academic records of Tinibu have been the subject of controversy. Opposition political parties have continued to raise questions over the authenticity of the university certificates presented by the president before the 2023 elections. According to Tinibu's record, he proudly graduated from Chicago State University in 1979 with a bachelor's degree in business administration, accounting, and management. However, there are allegations that the Tinibu who attended Chicago State University might be different from the current president of Nigeria. Was it a clone, a doppelganger? Look no further because someone is finally coming out to claim Tinibu as a classmate. Duro Jaye Ogunsanya, a public affairs analyst, gave an exclusive interview with TVC News. In the interview, Ogunsanya boldly claims that he was in the same department as Tinibu. Here are some of the things he had to say. Transferred to um, Chicago State University, and I met him there, and we clicked from the okay. click from there. Okay. And one thing, other thing is that we were a member of the accounting society, mm -hmm. accounting club there in the school. Naturally, um, when the time or election came, the president surprised me. That was the time he became the president of the club. You think that as the president of the accounting student club. There will be a line of people eager to testify. Where are the president's other classmates hiding? Kids, take note. This is precisely why you should avoid being a nerd in school. Because even if you become the president of a country, only one person might come forward to acknowledge you as a classmate. That's all for tonight on Breaking. I'm Johnny Woody. Let's do this again next week.